Good morning students. Welcome back to the science class. In the previous class, we have learned about safety rules that we have to follow at home, at school, in the playground and on the road. Today, let us learn about first aid and how to give first aid for common accidents. Children, in the previous class, we have learned about the accidents that happen when we are in a hurry. The accident causes injuries. Sometimes, it may cause severe injuries also. What we have to do at that time, children? Good. We have to take the victim to the doctor. Here, victim means an injured person. In the accidents, sometimes there may be severe bleeding. Bleeding means loss of blood. To stop the bleeding before taking the victim to the doctor, what we have to do children? Yes, we have to give first aid. So what is meant by first aid children? First aid means the immediate help given to the injured person before a doctor arrives. The purpose of first aid is to reduce the pain and minimize injury. And in some serious cases, first aid may be necessary to keep the victim alive. As I told you before, Sometimes, serious injuries may cause lot of bleeding, deep wounds or sometimes bones may broke. At that situation, the best thing is to get the victim immediately to a hospital. First aid can be given by anyone even children like you. But to give first aid, one should need a little training. Knowledge in first aid benefits ourselves and also the people around us. The people working in high risk environments should have basic first aid knowledge. Understood children? First aid is the immediate help given to an injured person before a doctor arrives. Now, let us learn some first aid treatments given for common accidents. First, let us know how to give first aid for nose bleeding. First, pinch your nose close just above the soft part of the nose using your thumb and index finger. Sit and tilt the head forward. That means lean your head forward. And keep your head above your heart. Leaning forward lessens the bleeding and also helps to drain the blood from the nose. If you tilt your head backward during a nose bleed means blood runs backward down the throat and flow down the airway and cause 
choking. That means you cannot breathe in air. So lean your head forward while nose bleed. Continue to pinch your nose for 10 to 15 minutes till the bleeding stops. Understood children? How to give first aid for the nose bleeds? Now, let us know how to give the first aid treatment for cuts. First, wash your hands with a soap to kill the germs before giving first aid. And next, wash the wound with soap and water. Now press down on the cut with a cotton swab or with a clean cloth till the bleeding stops. If blood soaks through the cotton or through the cloth, don't remove it. Put more cotton or cloth and continue pressing on the cut. If the wound is on the arm or leg, if possible, raise your limb above the heart. It will help to slow down the bleeding. After the bleeding stops, apply an antiseptic liquid or an ointment. An antiseptic helps to kill germs. And then cover the wound with a clean bandage to prevent infection. Understood children? How to give first aid for cuts? Okay. In case of minor falls, that means when you slip and fall on your back or when you are in a hurry, if you hit anything like a bench or a wall, what will happen? You will have a swelling and a bruise at the place of injury. A bruise is an injured area on the skin that turns bluish purple. For this type of minor falls, apply ice pack on the bruised area and take rest. Now, let us know how to give first aid for insect bite. When some insects like honeybees, bumblebees bites, they leave a sting in our skin. So first, we have to remove the sting immediately by pressing both the sides of the wound with your fingers and wash the affected area and apply an ice pack for at least 10 minutes. This will reduce the swelling and pain and then apply an antiseptic cream on it. Did you understand children? Okay, now let us know how to give first aid for minor burns. First, put some chilled water on the burnt part. Chilled water means cool water. Or hold the burnt skin under cool running water or immerse in cold water to reduce the pain. Do not break the blisters. Blister means a small bubble on the skin. 
that was caused by burning. And then apply a petroleum based ointment two or three times a day. Understood children? How to give first aid for minor burns? And if major accidents happens means immediately take the injured person to the doctor. Children, you can call 108 or 104 to get an ambulance and call 100 to inform the police of a major accident. Children, here is an activity. After the class, all of you do it. Make a first aid box at home. A first aid kit contains a number of items that you might need to provide first aid to a victim. To make a first aid kit, get a box and clean it. Place these items in it. First one, band-aid. Next, crepe bandage, gauze roll, cotton roll, safety pins, pain relieving medicine, antiseptic cream, safety scissors, a small torch and tweezers. Children, don't forget to replace the medicines when they are expired. Do this activity to make your own first aid kit. Now, note down today's assignment. List the steps to stop a nose bleed. What first aid would you give to a person who gets an insect bite? I am repeating the questions again children. List the steps to stop a nose bleed. What first aid would you give to a person who gets an insect bite? Okay, children. Thank you.